Folks, LG screwed up last year with the G5. I mean, it was still a nice phone, don't get me wrong, but Jesus, that build quality was shitty, wasn't it? And while that whole modularity thing was a pretty neat pipe dream, I knew it wasn't gonna become a thing. Sorry, LG, just keeping it real. Now, having said that, in my eyes, LG has completely redeemed itself with the G6. I mean, holy crap, this is a nice phone. Metal rails, Gorilla Glass on the front and back, and a display that offers more screen real estate than my Pixel XL, but with a smaller footprint. Now, to be honest, I'm over the whole gotta be glass on the front and back fad, because in my mind, a glass back isn't a logical build material to use on phones. Uh, they scratch easy, I mean, look at mine. There's already several scratches and even a bunch on the camera visor. And they also shatter easy and seem to produce fingerprints from like thin air. I mean, it's like you wipe it clean, you put it down on a table, walk away for five minutes, and when you come back, the phone's full of fingerprints already. What the hell? Okay, who touched my phone? Just come clean, I won't hurt you that much. But goddamn, look at this thing. It's gorgeous. And while I don't agree with all the glass, its build quality is phenomenal. This is a prime example of a premium flagship phone, and I still enjoy pulling it out of my pocket to use every day. So getting into the phone is another story though. Now, we're all used to smartphones with the power button and or fingerprint reader on the back, and I'm okay with that. And when it works, it's awesome. But for my hands, I think it's been placed a little too close to the cameras, and it's also pretty flush with the back, so it's kinda hard to tell apart from the cameras. And like a lot of fingerprint readers, it doesn't like it when your fingers are a tiny bit moist from oil or sweat. Um, I would say it works flawlessly about 80% of the time. Oh, and by the way, you can't adjust the display brightness while it's locked, which is stupid. Just saying. Now, getting into the software, it came with Android 7.0 out of the box, which surprised a lot of people because some of the other new flagships of 2017 are coming with Android 7.1. Personally, it didn't bother me at all. Um, should it have come with 7.1 out of the box? Yeah, but that shouldn't be a deal breaker for anyone. Um, but when it comes to LG's skin, I'm not a big fan this year. It's not terrible, but something about it just bothers me. What's your problem, man? Your face bothers me. So, taking a page out of my friend's books over at Hardware Canucks, thanks to Android and its almost endless personalization options, I downloaded and installed a free black theme from the theme store, Nova Launcher, and an icon pack, and then changed the animation speeds under developer options to 0.5, and wouldn't you know it, it's snappier and it looks way better. And there isn't a ton of useless features like I've seen in so many Samsung phones. Uh, for instance, jump into smart settings and you'll find some things that should be featured in every phone on the planet. But the overall performance has been great. Uh, the G6 has a Snapdragon 821 CPU, which is last year's model. Eh. Four gigs of RAM along with either 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage with obviously the option to expand with a micro SD card. But there were and still are a few hangups here and there, like while trying to switch from one app to another, or sometimes there's a delay between opening a message and when the keyboard pops up. But it's rare, so I can't complain that much. So let's chat about one of the main selling features, the display. So it's pretty sick. Uh, we're looking at a QHD 5.7 inch IPS LCD display with Dolby Vision HDR. So yes, the colors pop. Yes, blacks are very black for an LCD display. And yes, it's big without straining the hands too much. But while there's some HDR content on Netflix, uh, Amazon Video and YouTube, there still isn't quite enough HDR content for it to be a selling feature for me and I wish the display got brighter. Uh, indoors, it's more than bright enough. It's outdoors, at least to my eyes, where it lacks. And most of the time with all my other AMOLED display devices, uh, I run them at about 50% brightness indoors. Uh, on the G6, I find myself at about 80 to 90% indoors, and obviously 100% outdoors, which just isn't bright enough. Now, LG has a display settings option to adjust the aspect ratio of the display to suit certain apps, which is a really smart move, but to be honest, I haven't come across many apps that need me to change the aspect ratio for full compatibility, which I was actually pretty happy with. So big ups to LG on the display. Just maybe bump up the brightness in the next software update. Maybe, please, I can make it worth your while. Awkward. So we got this little mono speaker at the bottom right next to the USB-C port. By the way, side note, how dope is it that we're starting to get like every single phone with USB-C now? Anyways, considering the phone's water resistant and so the speaker has a membrane which kind of kills audio quality, 
I don't care what other reviewers say, it's actually a pretty decent speaker. Does covering it up with your palm while watching videos pretty much mute the audio? Yes, which pisses me off. But would you rather a super dope sounding mono speaker on a bloody smartphone or a pretty decent sounding speaker on a water resistant smartphone. Personally, I'd take the latter any day of the week. Um, I have Bluetooth speakers and headphones if I really need good audio. So cameras, plural, I fudging love them. <laughs> Color reproduction is fantastic and it's got wicked dynamic range and handles exposure very well like 80% of the time but sharpness is only slightly better than okay and I did notice some over processing in some photos but can I just say while I totally respect and appreciate why some folks might prefer a telephoto lens like that on the iPhone 7 plus for my wants and needs, I think the wide angle camera on the G6 is much more useful, logical, and fun to use. Anyways, really my only complaint, if I was to nitpick about the camera, uh, is in the app, and only one thing. Hey LG, how about you replace the stupid filters button with the HDR button? Nobody gives a shit about filters straight from the camera. We deal with all that crap in separate apps. R right everyone? Or is it just me? So how about that battery life and wireless charging, son? So LG's like, you know what everyone else in the world other than Korea wants? Wireless charging instead of a 24-bit built-in DAC to make everyone's music sound dope. So we've got wireless charging. And <laughs> now if you love wireless charging, sweet, there you go. But if, like me, you prefer fast charging by simply plugging it in with its super easy reversible USB-C port, then like me, you're also a little sour too my sour lemon face. <laughs> but yeah, DAC would have been baller. Damn it, LG. Anyways, yeah, battery life. <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit off topic there. Uh, yeah, it's meh. Uh, sometimes I only got an hour and a half of screen on time with like 20% left after some pretty damn late usage. And then other times I'll get like a solid three hours of SOC with average usage. Will it get you through an entire day? Depending on what you're doing with it, probably just. But for me, more often than not, I'm throwing it back on the charger by evening time. So I'd say it gets average battery at best. Now, just before I close out, I wanted to thank Caseology for sponsoring this video and helping keep my lights on, the internet running, and food and booze in my belly. Now, Caseology has some really nice cases for the G6. The parallax cases are stylish and modern looking with a polycarbonate bumper wrapped around a smooth to the touch TPU case with this dope sort of textured pattern on the back while still offering full body protection with a minimal footprint. And then there's the vault. I really like this one. So we've got a TPU case with this laser etched sort of brushed metal and carbon fiber look and texture to it, which does an excellent job of repelling fingerprints. And both cases are only 20 bucks. So I'll throw a link in the description if you wanna buy the same cases I'll be using with my G6. That about covers it. Uh, if I left anything out, I'll be hanging out in the comments if you guys have any questions for me. But the long and short is it's an awesome phone with some really awesome features that I love, but battery life isn't great. So maybe Make sure your lifestyle includes being around a charging source. Uh, as always, if you like the video, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.